Hello! It is me, Sai. And on the special occasion of being quarantined due to the coronavirus, I've decided to give macarons another go. Um, macarons are lovely little pastries which are an absolute hell to make. Uh, I've never actually succeeded. But hey, let's give it another go. So I've got all the ingredients laid out. These are all the ingredients. Here we have sift, uh, sieved, sift uh, powder sugar, granulated sugar, almond flour, and two batches of egg whites uh, in supposedly sparkling clean rolls. In that general direction. Okay. Right, so uh, I am doing this following the BBC Good Food uh, recipe for macarons. Um, they do have a tiny bit of a complicated one. So, for example, when it says heat the sugar, I will only heat the sugar and not measure, oh, is it exactly 118 degrees? Because I don't have a thermometer which would allow that. I only have the one for humans which would absolutely die if it were to measure 118 degrees Celsius. The first thing is to mix the other almonds <laughs> and the powdered sugar. So that's this one and this one. And I'll just move the eggs to the side quickly. Oh yeah, still have the egg yolks over there. So that is this and this. Okay. It says use a food processing bowl or something like that. Now I don't have any of that fancy stuff. And so I will just use a wooden spoon. You're not supposed to use metal, if I remember correctly. However, again, I don't have any of that fancy smancy stuff called food processing bowls. And so this will have to do. Okay, so I have mixed the sugar and the almond flour together to the best of my abilities and then run it through another go of sieving. Now the recipe says I should mix this with one of the egg whites. I'm a bit suspicious about that because the egg whites aren't beaten and it doesn't say that they have to be beaten. Um, <laughs> but let's just give it a go. Okay, so I checked again. They do actually say that I should just mix it in there. This pains me. Everything I know about making macarons says this is wrong. But hey. Okay. Taking the wooden spoon again and mixing it. Oh god. Okay, I have no idea how I'm actually supposed to mix this. Um I don't want to take a fork because I've learned that you're not supposed to use nettle when making macarons especially with egg whites or something like that I can't really remember but this is not really working out which is a great start I mean this is step one of at least seven so yay okay it said set this mixture which somehow worked tastes good aside and start heating sugar with 50 milliliters of water to 118 degrees. Again, I don't have those fancy things that tell you, oh, it's exactly 118 degrees. And so we'll just bring it to the boil and then immediately set it aside because a lot of other recipes don't heat the sugar at all. So it shouldn't be too bad if it's just below 100, something like that. I mean, logically, water boils at 100 degrees, so if it comes to a boil, it should be about the right temperature. So we've got the sugar here, the water, and a small pan to heat it up in. I really hope this works. <laughs> um, again, 
If it doesn't, I'm going to blame the recipe, uh, not my own ability, although it will definitely be my own ability because I'm awful at making macarons. Anyway, right, um, so one of my stoves is broken, this one, the perfect one, so I have to heat it all the way over here and take a, is this the right one? Yes, okay, take another wooden spoon, so yeah, still, still doing that. Got another spoon, I know. This is like top student living. I've got two wooden spoons. Haha. <laughs> Let me turn this up a tiny bit. Um, it says when it reaches 110 degrees, I'm supposed to start whisking the egg whites. Um, since I don't know when it reaches 110 and when it reaches 118, which is when I'm supposed to be done, um, I'm just gonna leave it and whisk the egg whites. <laughs> Uh, it's doing something. No. Oh god. What's happening? Okay, I'll just have it on low heat. <laughs> that was a mistake. Um, and just keep it like that. Whisk the egg whites and then turn it up, I guess. Oh god. Um, it said whisk the egg whites whilst the sugar is getting to a higher degree. Um, whisk an egg whites. Yay. Oh, uh, how does this work? And I forgot to switch on the plug. Fifteen minutes later. Okay, so after absolute ages of whisking, I have finally achieved a peak. Okay, it's not very visible. However, da -da -da -da, it is not escaping. Mind you, this is, this is down. <laughs> okay, I must say, I am quite surprised at this. Um, I did not expect sugar to make it better or anything. But yeah, so we've got our egg whites mixed with sugar already. So next step, the recipe says this is the right time to add food colouring. I only have yellow, <laughs> but it's better than nothing. And I'm also adding a tiny, tiny, tiny drop of vanilla, which never smells like vanilla, but hey. Uh, one drop, okay, <laughs> Okay, honestly with egg whites I'm always so scared, it's such a stressful thing. First you separate them, then you pray that they don't collapse. Ah, come on, do the thing. Come on, come on! There we go, that's two drops of yellow food colouring. Just gonna whisk it real quick still. Okay, so it has a very slight orange tint now. Right, this is the part where I also get... I say this is the part where I get scared, but honestly, making macarons in general... Cream them! Arrgh. Oh. Um, is just a scary process. What the? Come on, come on, spit them out. Okay, yeah, sure, one you want to spit out, why not? Right, I'm gonna take my moderately clean wooden spoon and the batter. <laughs> Which is just so horribly. <laughs> this makes me so sad. Honestly, if this is not gonna work, I'm gonna be sad. Please, please, just, just do it. Do it. Just do it. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Please, please work. Please work. Gently putting it in there. Oh God, it's not gonna work. Oh no, I can already see the fucking egg whites dissolving. BBC Good Foods, I'm holding you responsible. They said fold gently. Well, I'm trying, I'm trying. My intentions are gentle. 
Come on, give me the rest of it. Okay, so I think I mixed it right. It is quite a thick liquid, but it still goes back to its original form in 30 seconds, I think. Yeah. Let's give it one more stir. That's because it's really pretty. Whee! Okay, so I don't have the piping bag, so we'll use this thingy. Which is honestly my least favorite part because you have to kind of. Mm, yeah, yeah, oh, okay, no, this isn't working. Uh, I'll see if I have a normal bag. Should work as well, please work. Like my life, look at it, it's horrible. Not my life, my life's quite cool at the moment. Big scoop, and in we go. This is never going to work. Doubt. Come on. Lock yourself in there. Ah. This is yummy. The last time I made macarons, they just dried out and I had flat, dry pieces of sugar, basically. So I was a bit apprehensive about trying it again. However, uh, the student magazine did a pitch for difficult foods you're gonna try again during quarantine. And I was like, I absolutely hate macarons. This is perfect. No, not this. This is horrible. Um, no, the pitch was perfect. So I was like, yeah, okay. Gonna give it a go. Now, I think I saw people do this. Let's cut it. Oh God, this did not work. Oh, <laughs> this is not working. We've created abominations. What am I doing with my life? How, how is this what I, a 20 year old person? Oh God. Ah! It's gonna be okay. This is what's supposed to happen. This is how you make my vivons. Professional here. Sure, at this point it's easier to just put it on the spoon. This is so much easier on a spoon. Why? Why am I like this? Why did I not think, oh, you just need little piles? Use a spoon. No, I thought use these complicated methods, which don't work to try and put little freaking I need to wash my hands. Okay, I can use my hands again. Woohoo! Right, that means I can actually film the disaster I have created. This is the butchered bowl I have, so I'm kind of scooping out a little thing. These two I tried making with the bag. This one I did with the plastic thingy. And these are just a spoon. A simple spoon. Scoop up a bit. And transfer. Bigger, come on. And they don't get great, but it doesn't really matter. Oh god, my accent. Sometimes. Okay, so I think it's been half an hour. In any case, they're looking as horrible as I left them off as. Like this one. This one looks good. But yeah, the oven is heated to 160-ish degrees. So, whew, 
so that this turns out. You're supposed to be baking for 14 minutes, so I'll actually set the alarm clock and pray. Okay, so whilst the other macarons are in the oven, I will prepare a new one. I've decided to put my phone like this because I can't be arsed to hold the other one. Um, it's a bit awkward, but it'll, it'll work. So, I'm going to take a spoon. The spoon, put on weird, oily baking tray. There we go. Um, they look a tiny bit better. I just realized the recipe says <laughs> you're supposed to have it about 2.5 centimeters in diameter. Um, or, no, wait, what does it say? Yeah, 2.5 centimeters in diameter. This is not 2.5 centimeters. This is fucking massive five centimeters at least. Um, so I might have to adjust the baking time, but for now, I put these to the side and wait until the others come out to see if anything good happens. Okay, seemingly 16 minutes has passed, wait no, 14 minutes, um, so I'll just take them out. They look absolutely horrible, um, to be fair, I did expect that. Still disappointed, uh, but not surprised. Maybe they taste okay. Right, it's set. Put on cold surface. You know what, now nah, a taste of macaron. It's quite nice actually. Mm. My bone fell, so. Okay, so. Whilst we wait for these macarons to uh, cool and for the others to develop a skin, which I don't even know how it looks, so absolutely no clue. I'm just gonna leave them there for 35 minutes. I'll switch that off. Um, I will make a very, very, very simple uh, mascarpone raspberry jam middle. Hopefully it'll make the Absolute failures taste like something yummy. Right, okay, so it's time to put the other macarons in the oven. And whilst they're baking, I'm going to make the cream. Okay. All right, set the alarm clock, scrounge really weirdly. See, other people have, you know, boyfriends and stuff that help you film. Oh my god, they're horrible, but that's okay. They didn't rise at all, which I am suspecting is because, first of all, I didn't leave them to rest long enough. And second of all, I think I used two old eggs. So because of this lockdown, I couldn't get fresh eggs because all shops are like basically empty and closed. Um, so I just used eggs I bought last week. And I don't think that's actually how it works. But hey, you know what? Fill them with raspberry jam and it'll be okay. Take a spoon. Whack it on there. I'm using duct tape to hold my phone up because it's not like I'd have someone in the house to help me film. There, lovely. Okay, so take some mascarpone. I don't actually know how much 
And you're also supposed to add melted butter. But because I unplugged the microwave to use this space, I can't melt butter at the moment. So this will have to do. Raspberry jam. Why is it not doing it? This is so pathetic. Oh my god. Do the thing, please. Do I have to melt this? Is this why it's not working? Because I have to melt it. Probably. But as I said, I can't melt it at the moment. Okay. Let's just do this at the end. It's fine. <sighs> okay, just to try, I have made a macaron <laughs> where I filled it with raspberry chum. Uh, just put it just on top. It doesn't look like a macaron. However, I think it will taste like one. Oh, after biting into it, it looks like a macaron. And it really does taste very well. Very good, sorry. Still eating. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think this can be considered a success. However, it's not a complete failure. See, I don't get it. When I was a kid, like when I was younger, I like made macarons and I have the feeling that they were just so much better than these. And then at one point, like two years ago, I just started failing at making them completely. And I don't know why. Like, why are they so flat? Lads. It's a bit disappointing, but at least they taste good. I think, like, I read online that they might not be rising because they're too dry, too wet. Which is likely. My butter is very wet. But I used the exact measurements from the recipe. Apart from the fact that I did not heat the sugar to exactly 108 degrees, which honestly, it can't make that big of a difference. And the fact that I used a week old eggs. Uh, I don't know what I did wrong, <laughs> but hey, maybe you guys, whoever is watching this, um, know and mind telling me, or just try it yourself and show me your absolute masterpieces, so that I can cry. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll just try again in a year. It usually takes me about a year to recover, <coughs> to recover from a macaron mistake. Oh my god, what the heck am I supposed to do with this bag? It's so horrible. Folded inside it. Oh my god, what have I done? Can't even grab a spoon now. Okay, so just microwaving the cream now. Uh, it's a mixture of butter, uh, raspberry jam, and cream. So, this should be easier to mix now than was before. Why is there a hard bit? Oh, that's the butter. Oh, yeah, okay. Right, it still needs quite a bit. Mm. It's pretty yummy though. In the most beautiful microwave ever. The very last batch of macarons is in the oven. Um, again, for next time, I'll just make it drier. Yeah, here's what I've made so far. Duct tape because I just glued my phone to the wall to film. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, it's nicely mixed. I will quickly put this in the fridge. Oh, just a bit of butter here. Um, so that it gets a bit harder because I can't pour it in like this. But yeah, 
I still have like 10 minutes till the other macarons are baked, so yeah. Dream has finally moderately solidified. It's not gonna get better than that. But hey, you know what? The entire thing is kind of a failure anyway. Um, however, I will nevertheless attempt to put some macarons together just so that we can laugh at them and eat them in the end. So hey. Now usually if the cream was a bit harder, <laughs> you would see it in between. However, here you go. This is the first macaron. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> they do taste very nice though. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, please show me your macaron masterpieces so that I feel jealous and sad about myself. Um, give like comment how you did it if you do that. Uh, and have a lovely day. Stay safe. Don't go outside.